Hello guys, welcome to another Napoleon 2 player battles. I am here with a 2v2 of my friend Imperius Rex on Aosta Valley. Now, this battle went very, very well. Is usually our battles do go well. Me and Imperius. We'll guard two Lancers and two Chasseurs H of Al and a General Staff. And two National Guard and two Fusiliers. And then, he's playing as the Ottomans. Is he's using one of his um better based armies. He's using two let me see here. He's got a different army setup, actually. Slightly different. He's got I believe how many sci fi sci fi, whatever I'd like to call them. Butcher in every way possible. So, uh, some sci fi company. Daily horseman, daily horseman. He's got, looks to me, is two Sifat, Sipai, uh, I'm butchering that, cavalry units, and two Delhi horsemen, five lights, five credit infantry, uh, ungeneric general staff. He has, looks to me, as Ahmed Al Jazar butcher that too probably three Janissaries and Bashi Bazooks we'll round out his army fast forward to the rest of the deployment phase so I already have my army ready to move out on this flank over here and then the rest of my army ready to move out over here too based on my three young guard we'll take this flank now this battle was a long time ago, so I don't know if I'll completely remember everything that happens, but eh. Either way. And then they both played well, no, not both of them. This guy plays the British, that guy plays Prussia. I can only assume that this guy has five lights. Meh, probably, I don't know. Yeah, he's got five lights. Consisted of three light foot and a king and two king's German legion light foots, and then 88th cannot rangers, 42nd black watch, some highlanders, foot guards. Looks like a lot of foot right there, like king's German legion foot, and he's got one, I think two horse guards back here. And he's got, no, he's got king's German legion dragoon and horse guards. And over here, he's got another unit over here of horse guards. As um, the Prussian and Imperius are already getting into a bit of a brawl over here. As Prussia has two hussars over here is what I can see so far. Grossier. And up here, going up against Imperius is the Ottomans. Where did the cab unit go? Yeah, fell back. And another Dragoon. And for some reason... Even though I tell people every time to not bring artillery, he kind of randomly brought artillery, but he actually didn't just use it. And on my flank, we're already fighting over here. This battle's already started. So my young guard are getting into place. Preparing to put the first volley in. There we go. Just ultimately obliterating these cold string guards already. Instead of one volley. And since I have support, of all my young guard. Actually, I have to send one up here. So I have two young guard here, but they're kind of being put on by Lightfoot, too. Yeah, I have a cab unit back here of Chasseurs H. Aval to support against this cavalry. This isn't going to do much, my Chasseurs. And I've also already started to engage in the center here. My lights, my Volta gear is already formed. So I'm moving up my Lancers, a couple of my Lancer units. Kind of, for some reason, walking my Fusiliers of Line and National Guard up there. Because I've already routed a Coldstream Guard unit up here. So far, this is the, my area is the only part of the fighting. But, uh, Imperius is going to support me in the center for whatever this I need. As British start capturing the building. So not much is going to go on over here for a while. Prussia is going to sit idling. 
So I think he's actually starting to move in to start fighting. But my lights are putting down good fire on these British troops. Because so I'm quickly trying to take the flank over here with my young guard. And I get a. They kind of charge into me over here. And my Chasseurs H of Al aren't going to do so hot. But my Yungar has a nice flanking fire right now on the Lightfoot and King's German Legion. And my Fusilier of Line kind of gets... Well, my 6th Regiment got charged. But my Fusilier is going to get a nice close volley on these foot guards. Or at least I think. Fire my men, fire. Forming up. Firing at will. Freeforming again for the tenth time. Firing at will into the flank. But my young guard got charged up here, but I'm quickly moving a Lancer unit in. Well, actually, another just there's a Val. But that young guard isn't going to do so hot with all the all that cav. As of right now, I'm holding perfectly fine. Over here, I'm not too worried. But I am starting to lose it a bit over Our here. Running, I have to get ready to send reinforcement. Because I'm actually sending my Lancers over. Having to send in a reinforcement unit. A Fusilier up here. As for some reason, I seem to have the problem of keeping my men running. I charge in my Chasseurs H of Al against this King's German Legion Dragoons. And then my young guard get charged by this King's German Legion foot. Let's move my Lancers over here. I did a quick charge against this foot guard with my other Lancer unit and quickly routed it. So the center for the British isn't looking the prettiest. But Imperius doesn't have too many worries on his flank as now the fighting has started. But he's kind of, it's kind of a small area for fighting. He's actually going up against foot guards over here. And the Prussian's kind of hitting his own man with these cool airs back running, here. Sir. I think I lost... <coughs> Sorry, I got a cop here, guys. I, uh... Oh, I lost my young guard. Lost my young guard. We're going to take out this King's German Legion foot. And I've lost... Actually, pretty much lost my flank. I'm going to get a nice cav charge in here, and I'm actually going to take the flank pretty much. I think I'm going to get right... My old guard's still sitting back here looking pretty. I'm not too worried about reinforcement at this point. This flank is pretty much mine. So I'm going to have to get ready to send reinforcement over. To take out whatever remains of the force over here. Now I'm charging my Lancers again against this light foot. But for the most part, this area over here has been taken. And I still have a formidable force over here, and including my old guard back here. Well, my Lancers are pretty much going to take care of whatever remains in my Chasseurs H of Al. As um, these Janissaries and Imperiuses get charged by Cav, and they actually charge into some foot guards. There's not much going on on this flank. Just sitting there doing nothing. But I'm not worried about Imperius on his flank here, I'm just worried about what's happening on mine. For some reason I left this Fusilier of line up here, just left it. And I technically charge into this square, but knowing for a fact that if there's too much Cav, it breaks right through the square. So I just kept the charge going, though I did lose a lot of my cab in the charge at the same time. I probably shouldn't have charged into that square. But that's when I started moving my Fusilier of Line that I had sitting there for a while and retreat my cab. So right now it's just a staring contest, just at this current moment. But now Imperius has pushed the attack, so I push up my lights. To finish off the um, British. But Imperius is quickly pushing up on the Prussian over here. And the, Pr 
crushing is falling very, very quickly to Imperius's superior melee. So I'm still moving up my Fusilier of Line over here. Actually, that Coldstream Guard routed. I think I did a recharge. But one of his units over here came back. The other Rish player. There's still a horse guard existing. But uh British player at this point is already non-existent. But there's a lot of force in here that I need to take out. So I pretty much charge whatever force I have up into the building to take it. There's a lot of force. That's including my lights. My lights, whatever remains my National Guard and a Fusilier. <laughs> Both my Fusiliers of line. My Young Guard did all the damage over here. And then the center became another focal point Our of death. <laughs> and um, the British player kind of charged my men as they were heading into the building. Doing a little bit of damage. But my men are going to make it to the building completely fine. And the Prussian player is just kind of retreated back. And Imperius is continuing to advance. You see, I have terrible morale when I'm, when I'm in this building. I think it's just due to the fact that they're getting charged in the back by these horse guards. But my lances are coming in to deal with them. There's a lot of infantry in there that I need to take out. But Imperius is starting to move in his Janissaries to help me take out the building. Our men are running, sir! So I... Uh, I think I lost one of my cav units. One's already running, where is it? I don't know where it is, oh, it's right there. That's a bolt gear unit. So yeah, I lost everything I had in the building. Except for a Fusilier. My, actually, no. I don't even think my Fusilier is even in the building yet. And my Fusiliers are still back here. But eh... Imperius is charging into the building with his Janissaries, so I'll just have him deal with the building now. And now, it's just an all-out war over here against the Prussian player. His main line of foot guards and Prussian Fusiliers. More foot guards, musketeers. Our men are running, sir! Eventually, at some point, he's just going to get encircled by both of us, though mostly by Imperius. Somehow these horse guards are still alive. Having a quick little melee fight here between the Janissaries and the horse guards. That Janissary just died, unfortunately. That one also just died. So, Janissaries get routed by the horse guards. But the horse guards are at very, very low. Very, very low morale, and they route. But these Janissaries are going to quickly cut up whatever is inside this building. It's not to worry. Is um, the Prussian has been pushed back. Pretty much in the same position as earlier, but... He's, um... Getting charged consistently in melee combat. So I'm charging in my Fusiliers. Or one of my Fusiliers of line to get into this building to help take it. So this light foot still exists over here. I'm eventually going to march that other who's there blind to take it out. There. As of right now, it's not looking too pretty for the Prussian. Though I'm curious is soon enough going to start running out of ammo. And he, I'm going to need to help him finish off the Prussian. But for the most part, he does do very, very well over here on this flank. His, he is also getting pounded by artillery, even though there's no artillery. You know, just those occasional people that don't want to follow the exact rules that are currently given to them. <coughs> his Highlanders, his building, getting ready to rout. The Fusiliers are doing decent. So are my, not mine, my Imperius' Janissaries. 
That building's holding strong because the general's in the area. And Imperius is quickly trying to finish off the Prussian over here. And now Canister is currently being fired at his lines. He's kind of firing at the hill with his line infantry. So now I'm charging in my second Fusilier of line. I noticed that kind of struggling to take the building. But another one routes. Kind of getting shot from the building. Lost a couple of men. Then I changed my direction and decided to charge against the light foot that had started charging in from over there. They are going to get some shots on me. Just, just going to take a couple of losses in the charge. This, just a couple. Just a couple. So we prepare for the final charge into the light foot. I was the air is about to drop below 80 for men wise. If for some reason he decides to treat pretty much kind of hiding at that point. But these Highlanders in this building are finally gonna route and we're gonna finally have this building and the British player is finally gonna be pretty much gone. This is what kind of moved up my old guard to be prepared for them at any time. Which I knew the they were probably going to need to be utilized. This light foot is running away infinitely at this point. I'll go over here and we'll just see the mass amount of British troops routing over here. But the Prussian is quickly being encircled. He's kind of putting himself into that position. He has actually a lot of troops left but I don't think he utilized them good enough. But at this point, this side of the battlefield's been gone for a while. So I'm still trying to charge these light foot, but they're just not they're not giving up. They're just gonna keep running, 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 running. <coughs> this general staff still exists. Oh there's one remaining Highlander right there. Oh, oh, this this little survivor right here. He survived. He survived the building battle. He's winded. Keep running, friendly Highlander. You've been killed by French. You're an old entire unit. Except for you. But the artillery has finally been eradicated. But this credit infantry unit not gonna go so well over here in front of all these Prussian units. So I'm gonna start getting ready to send whatever I have remaining of my infantry over. And I see the general staff of the British players moving in, so I just automatically form a square. He's just gonna continue the charge. And we're gonna watch this charge of the general come in. Some damage being done to my unit there. But the general kind of retreats him. He does get away. That guy just kind of got that weird animation, but he's currently being drug off by his horse. Goodbye. The general does survive down to nine horses. I'm starting to send over some reinforcement as now my old guard are starting to move. So the British player is now completely gone pretty much except for his general. But the Russian is currently encircled into one circle of the map. But giving Imperius a bit of a trouble because of how much reinforcement he had period to reinforce himself with. But, uh, Imperius has enough ammo to last for a while. This is pretty much a firefight now. See this making those pressure foods the move. Is um that 
light infantry ran out of ammo, so he's charging them in. <coughs> so he is starting to run a bit low on reinforcement at this point. Imperius is pretty much out of Genissaries. It's out of Genissaries. About to pretty much almost run out of infantry because of his infantry is running out of ammo. But uh, my old guy is going to become an asset here in a little bit, if I remember correctly. But the Prussian shouldn't have encircled himself into the corner of the map. He could have actually probably escaped to fight a little bit longer, but he kind of just quartered himself as that Prussian musketeer unit ran out of ammo. At this point, since he's encircled, he's, he's kind of getting pretty much killed off really very quickly. Really very quickly. Uh, that's very good American grammar. English grammar. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, the Prussian is doing... I mean, he's doing well, but he's, he's quickly running out of men. Prairie is still having a good amount of force. Just quickly just cutting them down. And then knees up. And each time Imperius charged, then the pressure fell back. But uh, either way, Imperius is down to his last couple units over here couple of units, lights, two light units, and two infantries. That one looks like it's, no, it's not an ammo. Uh, uh, it's something, it's like something weird. But yeah, Imperius is quickly losing it a bit. So my old guard actually don't look like they're going to be really needed at this point. It's kind of why they're, I don't know what I'm doing with my camera. But they're getting formed up and ready to be used. They are very tired because they just ran about half the, the map's length. But I decided to come take out the British general. So I quickly run this unit of Fusiliers up to take out the general. But I'm moving up my old guard and my Fusiliers to take out whatever remains of the Prussian force. Furious asked me to just to finish off the battle very, very quickly. And this is pretty much going to be a quick little slaughter of the general. Please, my men, fire at will. And there goes the general staff. And there he goes. Now they must break. So that is the end of the British player. As you can see, my Fusiliers um, kind of got cut up pretty quick by the Prussian player. My old guard still moving in as strong as ever. They're going to take some decent losses as soon as they get to the line. Just give it a minute. They're just going to just gonna line up here and just get a volley to the face. Oh, yep, there's one right there. Lost almost 30 men already. But with their superior volleys, yep, the uh, Prussians are just going to drop like Our a fly. But I did lose my Fusiliers of line. But overall, the Prussian's not going to put too much more of a fight because of my old guard. Squad well, keep them out of the fight for so long, the elite force quickly removes any resistance. So I move my old guard up again. Is there really getting mowed down? Down to under 100 men. And I just kind of, I think, I don't know what I'm doing. Sir, just doing some weird reforms. But now there's only a few units left. And then my old guard get charged, this one unit. This other old guard moving up to reform. But I'm going to lose this old guard, unfortunately. Actually, uh, 
Oh, come on, me old guard. Oh, God! Live to tell the tale of France. So I quickly shot the Prussian general. He survived. So far, uh, yep, he survives. I'm kind of firing into a hill, so... Yeah. My other guard aren't doing much at this point, because they're firing straight to a hill. Yep. But this little guard... Oh, never mind, the general has died. The general has died. So, zoom in on this location, and it's not going to show me anything. But with the general now dead, that old guard successfully in melee combat, and the last unit routes. So that is the end of this 2v2, you guys. We'll just take a quick look at the stats list. Is both my old guards survived, wounded warriors, but survived. Mostly, I think my young guard did the most damage. Well, not most, but they did a lot of damage. 100, 120 kills, 78 kills, 167. But either way, guys, that is the end of that one. More to come. Peace.